Okay, this is my opportunity to try a new camera because I heated the other batteries up so bad. Um, I've got a monitor to check things out on. We're about to work on a 16 by 20 inch canvas. And we're going to do something I've wanted to do for a long time, which is pull out all the blue I have, blue, green, white, everything, and um, I'm an ocean girl. I grew up on the ocean and I want to do something oceany. And this might be stage one. It might be done, but I think we're going to start and see what happens. I'm going to reset my timer. If I can clear it. Okay, I didn't really mean to set that for 21. And we're going to swipe this. Um, And I have recently discovered that I like to have more paint as opposed to less paint. And I've mentioned more than once that blue does not sell for me, which is not going to be a problem. If it sells, great. If it doesn't, I'm good with that too. I'm going to be using a fair amount of metallics, but I have dredged up every container of blue paint I have, and there are a lot of them. And it can't help but be pretty. It might be a little on the thick side, it looks to me. And I'm out of Floatrol, so I can't do a thing about that. But as we drag through, everything will work out. I have confidence. I might be using a little more turquoise. I kind of want to change that up. Not making me happy yet, but that's okay because it's early, early on. Maybe we'll play some tic tac toe. Get down and funky with my color scheme. All blues and greens, just like the ocean. My temptation is to throw some purple in there, but that's not really kosher. Not that I need to worry about being kosher, but. Good to follow your instincts to a point and then use your eyes and I am probably going to be doing what I did the other day in the flower garden with the sky and pre-mixing this with my spatula just want to get this on here for right now keep putting my tips aside playing all kinds of stuff I've been ignoring for a long time Got quite a bit of green going on in here it's time for some more blue. Hubby's a sailor, or at least he used to be a sailor. So he's a big fan of the blue. Not minding any of this so far. Just remember that what we really need in there is some white. So I'm liking the idea of the white pearl. I'm going to do that again. And I said I was a big fan of that turquoise. And I have some odd colors. But even though that I might not be their biggest fan, they work out pretty well in tandem with other things. Hmm. That is a turquoise I do not use very often. And that is why I moved it to the larger but ooh. Green metallic. Pretty colors. Pretty, pretty, pretty colors. Do I want any of this obnoxious green? Yes I do. Because I know it does awesome things. The last question is, ooh, I just found that. What else do we need in there to make a difference? Put some of that in the beginning. Put some more of that at the end. Make sure that there are no paint colors around that I don't want in my way right now. I don't get into this very often. So, oh, that's the one I said was thick. Okay. 
that'll be interesting. <laughs> I don't think it's going to hurt anything. God, that's beautiful. I love that. What's in here? Oh, God knows how old that is. That's a color shift loop. That can't hurt anything. I really want to put some purple in there. Do have any? Oh, you know what? I have some purpley blue. Yep, that won't hurt anything. And I have declared recently that it's better to have more paint than less paint because that allows me to coat my sides. That is a very dark blue. It ought to uh, cause some variations for us. I'm really inclined to use that. It's my swipe color. I don't know what that was and I hope it didn't actually blow into my paint because I saw it peripherally. Okay, so now the question is, are we done? Or do you want one more dose of that? Oh yeah. I'm not done till I'm done. And that is just fabulous. Okay, I'm imagining that that is enough color. And I got my purple in there like I wanted. Whether it's a good idea or not has yet to be seen. I don't think that you can really mess this up right now. If it's nothing more than stage one of two, that's okay with me. I found another color. <laughs> I think really, if I wanted wavy looking water, I could probably just um, make a more random pattern. Where to hide it? Boy, that looks just long enough. Okay, there's my cotton rag. And wonderfully enough, it's fairly clean. And I am gonna fold over the end I'm not using. So I have a slightly more stiff handle. And then I'm gonna take the hem I'm going to dip it in here several times. You know, I really want to do this. Because I can! Yeah, let's cover those sides. Just bring the paint over. Usually I would do the spatula, but obviously I blew that off. I'm just going to go back until I get to the edge. I don't really have a specific swipe color. I just thought of that. I want to do that really bad. That must be what my plan has been for days without even realizing it. Cool. <laughs> Look at that pattern. That's so cool. I am good with that. Wowza. Spontaneous pattern adjustment. It's too bad about the end over there. It's not really. We got plenty of this paint though. If I can get it to lie down. My my rag is pretty wet. Let's just stick a finger in it. And maybe we'll get some cells. Who knows? And if we don't, I'm okay with that. It's a lot less random than I had in mind. And I have no idea how long these rechargeable camera batteries and this new different battery that I'm using will last. And I'm thinking I can cheat a little with my skewer if I need to. I don't know. Maybe we should just get out the torch and see. Ooh, I just wiped the corner off. Clever me. Nobody will know. Don't tell. Let's pretend you're a swipe tool. I got some other weird color on there. Probably from one of the other paintings today. Still, not so bad. Probably in frame. Let's see what the torch does. Well, 
I don't think it's the ocean. We don't have a lot of cells. I said I liked it. I guess this is the tap. All right, go away. And I forgot this green, which was a great green, but I'm not gonna worry about it. I got all kinds of paint stuck around to touch up my edges. I got all kinds of paint dripping off my fingers from those edges too. I don't know, I don't, I don't know if I'd call this super exciting, but it's a cool pattern. I don't know if it's the beginning of something or if I can do a little tipping and stimulate some cells. Not that I really expect that in the blue. Glad I used some things that were different than each other. Oh, wow, that's really wet. That thing that was really wet was my swipe rag. Um, I'm very tempted to do some stuff and experiment with this because I want I want to see some cells even though I don't really believe that that's possible. I do kind of believe it's possible. So I suppose if I start with the same pattern again and dip in there. Oh yeah, look at that. I used to have a dog named Zigzag. Cool. That's cooler. I like that more. Okay. <laughs> Didn't destroy anything. Seems like we improved something. So much. For that. It doesn't keep me from wanting to do more stuff to it though. Can I do more stuff? Will I be happy if I do? Will I be happy if I don't? Would you know if I didn't tell you? All right, that's enough of that for right now. I'm throw that back in the bucket. No harm, no foul. I want to tip it. I think it's a torching it again moment. I'm not sure. Now, if I get cells up at the top there, I'm probably going to want to drag another swipe through it. This torch does not like to get tipped forward. That is such a waste of time. It doesn't like to be tipped at all. Okay. And it's not turning off. Let's see what happens to our pattern. Nope. Question is, can I start at the other end and do the same thing? Sorry, I'm missing an action, but you may never see this if we don't fix this anyway. And I don't see why we shouldn't try. I might be wasting some paint. Let's go right in there again. Pick up some paint. Expose some more of the layers. Maybe not what I've had in mind exactly. <laughs> oh well. It's an experiment. What are you going to do? 
You gotta try. I think it's time to take a dry rag. One more time. That's not really wide enough. Stretch it out and go to town. Let's go down here first. blue paint said I had good wind, so I guess we're going to be tested out. This does not look like a video that's going to make it onto YouTube, that's for sure. Anything's possible. All bets are off. Experiment though. Just my proclamation that more was better when it comes to swipe paint is not being proved out right now very well. And I'm thinking this is very likely a stage one. temptation is to take some really riotous pink and just go in there right now while I can because I can interesting the doesn't make cells theory is not a good one. <laughs> if you're wishing and hoping for cells, which I thought I wasn't, but I wouldn't object to if I had some now. I'm not ready to call it an epic fail yet. What can I do with that? I got a lot of blue paint. Well, I had a lot of blue paint. I got things all out of adjustment. I said it was okay with subtle. That should be pretty metallics tomorrow. Maybe if I diddle with it long enough, it'll be pretty soon. Take a look at what I've got. Well, it's not going to dry real fast, I can tell you that. Hey look, it's my favorite color. Let's see what happens. Maybe I should just swipe with that color. You know, I think that is a fabulous idea. Really, I do. I wonder if I have another swipe cloth someplace really handy. I got a lot of paint all over the place. Oh look! Another swipe rag! Can't really complain about that. Alright, here goes nothing. That might be out of your view. I think, just for shits, oops, just for grins, <laughs> because this is a rescue mission now. 
gonna put some black in there too. She said optimistically as it didn't squeeze out at all. And remember that green I said wasn't in there? Let's do that as well. I suppose I could zigzag it again. That worked so well the first time. All right, right into the pink. Please save me. I hate wasting paint. Got something popping more so than we did before anyway hmm I want to scrape all the paint off these rags and put it back on <laughs> I want to scrape the paint off everything and put it back on oh, wow what a wasteful thing okay I'm gonna put some of it back on just because Put it on the ends, put it on the corners. Hmm. Put it in the bucket. Alright, the timer says I'm done. I guess we'll find out. Not exactly the experiment I thought I was having, but that's okay, because I'm really not without a certain fondness for experiments. And not only that, I'm almost out of this color. And I'm loving that turquoisey effect. As long as I have a skewer, I just want to puddle too. Cool. I'm tempted to add some of that green in there. I don't know how long this camera will last. I'm probably not even recording anything anymore. But on the off chance I am, I'll talk to you like you're here. I really do want to put some of that funky light color shifting green in there. I also want to put more of that 
on this end. Maybe where all those dots are, I'll just spiral out. It's subtle, but it's pretty. Well, it's subtle except for that thing. Probably be a little more dramatic if I was willing to put some black in there. Right in time of the music. Ooh. And some yellow. Yellow green anyway. Maybe with that pink, purpley pink to stand out a little bit less. said that, and then she thought, wouldn't it be nice if it looked the same on the other end? The test will be, can I do it? I've done it before. The question is, can I do it again? I think it's time to wipe some paint off that skewer. So up the middle, is it